Hi! Uh, just having a quick chat today about the pelvic floor um, and kind of how that links in with the postnatal side of things. Um, just a quick disclaimer, I am not a medical professional so I'm talking about this from kind of a social point of view really. Um, just thinking about the issues that can come up um, and how we can kind of address that and I'll put a link to some different resources that will be useful um, but also just to kind of say if anybody needs any additional assistance then to seek medical advice and to go to a doctor about that because I'm just kind of having a chat about it in general really. Um, so yeah, the, the reason that I got thinking about this is because I had read an article about how the French um, kind of focus on the pelvic floor after birth and labour. And they offer every woman who's had a baby 10 to 20 sessions with a physiotherapist who specialises in pelvic floor rehab. Um, and... I just think that that's absolutely amazing. I had my own personal issues after having my second daughter. I had a uterine prolapse. It was only quite small. It's kind of all, all gone back to normal now. But um, during the time when I kind of discovered it and then trying to find out from the doctors what was actually wrong, um, I actually ended up getting a private physio and it was literally the best £50 I'd spent because I was so anxious about what was happening with my vagina um, and I was really worried that things were never going to be the same again and I was really kind of upset about it and it was more the emotional side of it um, that I was struggling to cope with than actually the physical issue of what was going on. Um, I just yeah, I just felt like I was different to everybody else and it really worried me. So I had this appointment in the end, I went to the doctor festival and the doctor was just like yeah, um, just wait and see what happens, it'll probably be fine. Um, we'll think about it in a few in in three to six months so I was like well I don't really want to have to wait three to six months to find out what's happening so um I did go and get this private appointment which was about 50 pounds and like I say it was the best best money I've spent on um because the lady was just like hmm, yeah nothing I can't really notice anything um you have got a small issue but um it will probably go away and we talked about how to do pelvic floor exercises correctly and she was just basically like, don't worry about it. Once you stop breastfeeding, everything will go back to normal. Chill. So anyway, enough about my, my vagina. Um, <laughs> let's talk about kind of generally pelvic floor issues. Um, so obviously things that can happen, you, there, you know, there is a prolapse. There are prolapses that can happen if your pelvic floor is weak. Um, urinary incontinence, so kind of wetting yourself when you cough or sneeze. Um, you can get pain. You can get back pain. Um, there can be all kind of the loss of sensation um, during sex or kind of just generally. So there's a lot of issues and things that can go wrong. And I think also to remember, it's not just women that have given birth vaginally, but um, women that have had C-sections as well, because you've carried a baby for nine months, um, around about nine months. So um, that puts a lot of strain on the pelvic floor as well. So it's just to kind of think about, it's something that we all need to be aware about. Um, obviously doing pelvic floor exercises, making sure that you're doing those properly. I'll put a link to um, some resources and um, just kind of being being aware of it. But I think the main thing I wanted to think about was just about how nobody really kind of talks about the pelvic floor and kind of how things are after you've given birth. And to just remember that um, it's, not, it's an okay thing to talk about and nothing to be ashamed about. And every, lots of people have different issues after labor and I feel like um, we just need to be a little bit more confident about going to the doctor and seeking some help um, if you're worried about anything or there are any issues. I feel like I might have had another point, um, but I've forgotten about it now. So I will put uh, some details in the write-up if I can remember what I was going to say. But yeah, anyway, hope that's helpful. Um, send me a message if you've got any questions or anything you want to add. I would love to hear from you. Bye!